guys, I'm gonna be preparing for you a one pot meal. Guys, I'll be making for you the famous Jamaican Caesar rice. Guys, growing up, our parents didn't really have a lot of money and some parents were just tired and just wanted to get home. So they wanted to do like a 10 minute meal and this is gonna be a Jamaican Caesar rice. So if you wanna know how I put the flavor of love into these dishes, come on this journey with me guys, come on this journey. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients for my Jamaican Caesar rice. So guys, over here I have two cans of coconut milk, which is equivalent to four cups of coconut milk, guys. Right over here I have some aki. Over here I have two cups of basmati rice. Over here guys, I have the pumpkin flavor cock noodle. Guys, if you don't have the cotton noodle, there are other equivalents of seasoning that you could use, like soup seasoning. If you don't have this type, guys, you can even buy the broth in the box. You could do anything you want. You can make your own broth. Over here, guys, I have some pumpkin here. I have a whole carrot, some scallions, some thyme, four pegs of garlic, so a uh, half a tomato, a whole scotch bunny pepper, half a onion, and over here guys, I have some saltfish guys, which we, you know, it's codfish, but it's been dried out and salted so they could preserve it. And over here guys, I have a quarter stick of butter. Don't use a lot of butter guys, because the coconut milk already has a lot of fat content with the oil. Okay guys, the first thing I'll be doing guys, since the codfish is dried and salted, the first thing I'll be doing guys is just rinsing off that excess salt because trust me guys, this codfish is extremely salty. So I'll be just rinsing off that excess salt guys and then I'll boil my codfish guys to get out the rest of the salt that's inside the codfish. Okay guys, so now my codfish is being boiled in the water to get out all that salt. And once the codfish is done, then I will let it cool and separate it to put it in the pot for the seasoned rice. Okay guys, while the codfish is being boiled in the back, I just put my two cans of coconut milk on the fire to be boiled. So guys, in this I have two cans of coconut milk plus a cup of water. Add in three cups of basmati rice, so six cups of liquid. So while the salt fish is being boiled and the coconut milk is coming to a boil, I'm just gonna cut up my pumpkin and my other ingredients for the pot. So see, I've already taken off the peel of the pumpkin guys.
my sawfish has been boiled and I'm just gonna use my fingers guys you can use a knife if you don't want to use your fingers if you don't want to get your fingers all mixed in just use a knife and I don't like to break it up too small because I like to have bits you know a little piece here and there okay guys so what I'll be doing now is I'll be opening my okay guys so what I'll be doing now is I'll be opening my cup noodle and guys I'll be adding this to the coconut milk for flavor but I won't be adding the actual noodles you see that pasta part guys I'm just straining it okay guys so I have strained off the seasoning that I want guys you can put this in it if you want some people prefer it some people don't mind it while well, some do it doesn't really affect me one way or another okay guys so now that my coconut milk is ready I'm just gonna add my cup noodle okay guys what I'm gonna do now is just whoa, add the pumpkin the carrot I'm gonna add everything guys to the pot butter bubble okay guys so I just added everything to the pot guys and you gotta keep this whole pepper you gotta make sure that this whole pepper doesn't burst in the pot okay guys so you realize the only things I didn't add were the rice the ackee and the butter so I'm just gonna leave that for last guys and then I'll season my pot with a little salt, a little pepper. Okay guys, so what I'll be doing now is I'll be letting the pumpkin and the carrots cook. But I won't be cooking the pumpkin to a point where it gets too soft in the pot. So guys, I'll let this cook and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that my pumpkin has been cooked firmly, Look at it guys, it's firm, it's cooked, it's cooked but it's still intact. So that's what I wanted guys. So guys, what I'll be doing now is just adding a little salt. I'll be adding about a tablespoon of salt. A little black pepper say like a pinch of black pepper guys and guys once that is added I'll add my three cups of basmati rice guys don't be shy scrape that bowl After I add my rice, guys, I'll add my aki. And last but not least, guys, last but not least, guys, I'll add my quarter stick of butter. This is gonna be a delicious meal, guys. This is gonna be a delicious meal from the Jamaican Taste Buds Kitchen. Guys, look at that variety of colors. And guys, here's the one thing my granny always say was once you put that rice in, don't mix it too much, let the rice cook. So, I'm gonna cover this rice, guys. I'm gonna cover this, guys, and let it cook on a medium heat, guys. And then we'll be right back. Okay guys, so my seasoned rice is on its way 
and we'll be right back with the finished product okay guys so this is the finished product to my Jamaican Caesar rice guys guys this rice is so colorful the smell is so aromatic guys this Caesar rice is gonna put me in a trance so now you see how we do it in the Jamaican taste buds kitchen guys and now that my Caesar rice is done it's time for the taste test okay guys look at that beautiful spread right here I got my seasoned rice with some saltfish pumpkin some carrot with my coconut milk my cotton noodle you know how we do it guys this is how we do it in the Jamaican taste buds kitchen and now that my dish is finished it's time for the taste test okay guys look at this beautiful spread that we have right here guys so now that the meal is finished it's time for the taste test mm. guys this is such a delicious meal guys I'm telling you with the ackee and the tomatoes, the pumpkin, the coconut milk. Mm. This meal is divine. Guys, this is a one pot meal, small but mighty. As my granny used to say, I saw food for taste. Guys, remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video and tell me what you think about my one-pot meal today.